What is up, amigos? Today we're going through airfoil pressure distributions and we're going through the pressure distribution on the lower surface, the upper surface, and what happens when we have separation and increased angle attack. So to begin with, we have a regular airfoil here and it's pitched at, let's say, 10 degrees. So the pressure distribution of this airfoil is shown in this graph. So let me explain what this graph means. On the x-axis, we have the distance from the leading edge to the trailing edge, so 0 to 1.0 x on c, x on chord. And if you don't know about airfoil nomenclature, check out this video here in the card here. On the y-axis, we have the pressure coefficient, which we have covered in this video here. And this ranges from four to minus four, let's say. It depends on the airfoil and the angle of attack, which we'll cover in a second. But let's say at the moment, it's ranging from four to minus four for this axis. Now for the lower surface, which is this surface here, we call this the pressure surface as well, because the pressure under here is greater than on top the top surface is called the upper surface or the suction surface. And so the pressure distribution on this bottom surface here, the lower surface, is this top line here. So let's explain what's going on. So we have the air coming in and it's traveling at the free stream velocity of your infinity. It hits the leading edge and then it goes around. As it goes around, we get some stagnation point at the front and then the flow starts to accelerate. And on the lower surface, it hits a bit more on this region here. So we get a peak and then it starts to level off and tread back to zero. On the top surface, because the airfoil, um, the flow accelerates a lot over here, the pressure actually drops and there's no surface here where the flow is like impacting like downwards. So we actually get a drop in the pressure coefficient, which then goes to let's say here minus four. And then as we go towards the trailing edge, it traces back to zero. And in the next video, we'll cover what happens here. But for now, let's move on. So what does this mean? Well, this pressure coefficient distribution is very important and it's very useful. So if we wanted to figure out the lift of the airfoil, all we have to do is integrate the area of this graph, then multiply it by the angle of the surface, so resolve it into the lift component. So lift is this direction. And then we can find the lift of the, the airfoil. Now, what happens when we increase the angle of attack? So the in a nutshell, the two lines will start to move further away from each other. So the top surface will get a greater maximum here, and it will be greater overall. And the bottom surface, oh sorry, the um, suction surface, so the top surface here, will also reduce or get more extreme, and we'll get a greater area of this um, graph here. That means that this airfoil is producing more lift. Now, what happens when we start to get too high angle attack? So let's say we go to 20 degree angle attack, which at this point, most airfoils will separate, they'll stall. So the flow will come over and then start to separate and we get this wake here. What happens now is we get a significant drop in the pressure coefficient. And that means that we also get a drop in the lift because we can now see the amount of area that this graph covers, these two lines is lower than what we had here. So we have an additional area here, which if we add to this, that was the amount of lift, if we assume, if we um, take into account the angle of this surface, of the old angle attack, when we, when we push it higher, we get this new graph here. That means we get a reduction in the lift. So that is the pressure distribution over an airfoil and how it is useful and how the upper surface and lower surface or the suction surface and the pressure surface um, are affected and what increase the angle attack does to this graph and how separation affects this graph as well. So if you like this video, make sure to like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you wanna learn more about this, check out our courses in the link in the description and check out a book by John D. Anderson called Air Fundamentals and you find it in the link in the description. And I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.